This is episode 80 of the Podcraft Beer Show for Monday, February 28th, 2022. In today's show, Chris, Charlie, and Steve share their thoughts with you on four craft beers from Humble Sea, a Munich Hells, a West Coast Pilsner, a West Coast Pale Ale, and an Imperial Pastry Stout. This is the Podcraft Beer Show. Yes, I'm your is. host, uh, Chris. We got your other host, Charlie. We got tech guy, yep. Steve. I'm here. We're getting into it. Woo! Here it is. We got a uh, we got a few few beers here today, boys. We got uh, some humble C. Just humble C. Just going going straight back to uh, one of our favorites. Yeah. Keeping it simple. Only because we have to. Only because you're on the slopes today, my friend. That's right. Mm-hmm. Connor was there yesterday. Slopey slope. He was. He had a little, probably a little better snow than I did. But Couldn't so here be, it is, guys. Couldn't be much better. Our first beer today uh, is Humble Seas uh, Hellas Lager. Uh, this is uh, Munich Hellas. Uh, Wait a minute. Good old good buddy Jeremy here. Today. Jeremy is here. He's didn't, not on mic. Though. I didn't. I didn't mention him because he didn't want to throw a mic on. Yeah. yeah. Good old Camp yeah. Dad. <laughs> Camp Dad Jeremy. <laughs> hey, while I, was in, uh, while I was in Jackson Hole, I saw a Yo. Camp Dad sticker. Uh-oh. Yeah. On Mike's, Had it been somebody uh, else graffiti. On know. Mike's board. Oh. He was, uh, <laughs> rocks the, the Camp Dad sticker I like on it. his board. Right Mike's a great guy. So our first beer, guys. Munich Hellas. Uh, it's double decocted, naturally carbonated, horizontally, delicious. horizontally lagered German lager beer with uh, Hallertau you know, mitten fru hops. I'm going to get horizontal here shortly. Best in show. California Best in Cup. Show. Craft this is, Brewers Cup 2021. I'm going to finish this off. So it says, uh, you know, as far as details here, they talk about uh, remember when we brewed the, much. the authentic DDH? Uh, we meant for it to be a one off, so we gave it a joke name that no one ended up getting, but then you all fell in love with it, and it won Best in Show at the California Craft Beer Cup. Uh, it's a good lager. It is. So we think this represents our lager program uh, perfectly. Uh, we'll be having it around as much as freaking possible, is what they say. Mm. This is a phenomenal beer. Um, like the um, can't go wrong with the Hellas Lager. Yeah, no, they say the aromas of uh, crackery malt, uh, spice cabinet, uh, lemon blossom. It said flavors of uh, bread crust and fresh hay bales. Bread crust. I, yeah, I'm gonna go with that. Mm. Wow. The only thing I regret is only four more left. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Or three more. I'm sorry. No, it's a it's a phenomenal beer. The um, it's crispy, you know, but it's uh, it's got some bitterness. It tastes a little bit of herbs in there. Almost perfect, to be honest with you. That's a that's a Coors beer, regular Coors beer with legitimate hops and barley in it. No, that's great. That's yeah, uh, yeah, super smooth. These guys know what they're doing. A good uh, good body, crisp crispy boy. Nice crisp finish. <laughs> I think that was last week, crispy. Gosh, we should do four of those. I didn't even start my timer. Mm -hmm. We're in trouble, boys. Three minutes in. Three? Good Lord. Three minutes, 15 seconds, 17 seconds. Let me start it up here. That's a great beer. That's one of my favorite, uh, you know, I think we... Do you like it? Yeah, I do. No, it's phenomenal. Like, I could drink those all day long. Maybe not all day. Mm -hmm. Well, all day long. Great, right there. uh, If you're not skiing, yeah. You stop one, pop one. Yeah. Each time you go up, you drink one on the lift. I don't know if that's a good idea. <laughs> that's a very good idea. <laughs> yeah. It gives you courage to do yeah. the jumps that you need yeah, to do. Right. <laughs> exactly. So earlier, I showed Jeremy a, pic, a video of you doing your whatever that was. Oh, yeah. At yeah. Uh, mm-hmm. Jackson Hole, Wyoming, yep. backyardish. Yep. And then we he shot you a picture of him like, 30 feet off the ground yes. a 50 foot jump. <laughs> yeah, no, that was uh, a little bit more impressive than uh, my attempt. <laughs> yeah, when he's completely upside down going on an actual ski slope, not a ramp, there but you a go. balloon. Yeah, he's, yeah, you got it. But again, yeah. my biggest fear was uh, what you encountered, which was hitting those tips on your way around. Yeah, yeah for sure. You drug them. Yep. You drug them through. No, yeah, it was, I mean, that was, uh, yeah. Uh, I'll, uh, is the worst enemy. That's a I'd difficult a day after seven hours on the flo- on been, the slopes. Yeah. It, they're not the skis. Yeah, but the margaritas make you a brave. There it is. Mm-hmm. Man. Brave man. 
Should have started earlier. Is that what uh, you're I probably should have. You know, I mean, it, it was literally after a whole day of skiing. Mm -hmm. and like, um, so the, when you get up on the lift, you just got to do the, the flips early in the day. Well, so probably. yeah, yeah, exactly, exactly. <laughs> like maybe not after a day, like the sixth of seventh days. Uh -huh. It was seven, six of seven days skiing. Right, I was wiped. I uh, no, yeah, didn't didn't get her done. Mm. We're doing number two, number two, Santa Cruz Pills. Not a bad beer here either. Let me tell you, boys. And this is supposed to be a West Coast Pilsner. Yeah, well, West Coast Pilsner, you know, amateur hour. Yeah, so they say this is a West Coast Pils with Nelson, Simcoe, and Mosaic. It's a Pilsner. So it's a, uh, yeah, it's a West Coast Pilsner with uh, Nelson, Simcoe, and Mosaic hops. There's no uh, coast involved, in my opinion. Okay. Try that out there, Tiger. Take a little whiskey roni. It smells stanky. Danky stanky. Okay. That's not a foul language. It's different. It's different. I'm going to say that right now. No, that's super hoppy. That's a, uh, uh, man, I really Is like that. Is that what they mean by West mm -hmm. Coast Pilsner? Mm -hmm. Hoppy Pilsner? Yeah. Dry hop. West Coast Pilsner. Okay, well. It is. 5.5 alcohol. Oh, that's very good. No, it's great. It's definitely drinkable, but mm. it's got some funky taste to it. It's called hops. <laughs> Maybe a little aftertaste from yeah. the previous, but yeah, uh, it's different than the first one mm -hmm. for sure. That was that yeah, was, no, it certainly has. A, you know, I mean, that's uh, super hoppy. Color yeah. is fantastic. I, I don't know. It just smells funky, dank. That's what mm -hmm. it smells like. It smells like an IPA, to be honest with you. Did you guys have any uh, decent beers this week? I did. Well, I had. You that, can't ask uh, Jeremy questions. From, uh, he's not Robert. mic'd. Yeah, I'm not mic'd, so you can't, can't even, can't even hear him. loud. Tell just get my really close to you. <laughs> You're like necking. <laughs> What'd you have? No, I had that uh, that uh, flamingo uh, ghost from uh, Proper that uh, you didn't bring over. I know. I, for <laughs> I totally forgot. I may or may not have finished them all. Oh, okay. We'll we'll find out in about two days, right? <laughs> What'd you have, Steve? I had a collab, Ale Smith and Pizza Port called Beach Run, a double dry hop West Coast style IPA. Nice. Christopher? Uh, you know, I the other day I um I ran into uh Pliny the Younger. Uh, Holy cow, where'd so you find little, that at? A little West Coast barbecue. Yeah. Good choice. Um, so that was that was great, you know. Just kind of ran into it. I'd forgotten I Steve, you had sent that email yeah, and and saying could, that and it was ready. Go. <laughs> and then um we were going out for a beer, and we're going to go down to uh, Blind Lady Ale House the uh -huh. same day. Had, uh, um, but then I'm like, I don't want to drive that far. I think the I think the release is tomorrow at at West Coast. We went over there, and sure enough, it was that day. Mm. Bam! So we yeah. uh, got a little taster of a uh, little younger. I was, was great. reluctant at first, but then Chris forced me into twisting my arm to say the least. Did and, you guys have any food? Really? Yeah, we did. We had wings and uh, that pretzel. Pretzel thing? Is a pretzel plate yeah. that was like uh, special for that day? Yeah. Kind of a charcuterie yeah. uh, pretzel plate thing. It was great. Yeah. yeah, and then we had uh, we split a Reuben as well. Mm. Oh, yeah. I think that was great. Yeah, it was super good. Are good. They have a, yeah, I love the menu yeah, there. Yeah, the place is good. You know, it, um, they used to be like more barbecue heavy, yeah, right? Yeah. Like it used to be like an actual barbecue place. You still like, have barbecue. Mm -hmm. Well, not like the, like, I mean, it, yeah. had you ever been there like five or six years no, ago? It was all barbecue. Like it's a completely different menu than yeah. it was yeah, at well, that Yeah, well, they point. switched it up a little bit. Like they don't have nearly the amount of barbecue. Yeah. I didn't see like ribs or yeah. like, yeah, the, maybe they have that the, stuff yeah, on there. They do. they do. They usually do. Yeah. But, but the, it used to be like all barbecue. Yeah, yeah. yeah it well, it's not uh, La Barbecue. It's all right. I mean, we enjoyed ourselves. We had some. People that we met there that were fantastic and interested in what we were interested in, mm -hmm. beer. So we talked a lot. So we about doubled that. the number of listeners this week? Or? I hope so. We didn't mention <laughs> that we did it, but we mentioned that we went to uh, uh, <laughs> Steve. Steve's like, oh my gosh. <laughs> we can't get any sponsors if you guys yeah. get more listeners. No, we, uh, we, we told them we worked at Effective Fitness, but we didn't tell them that we did a podcast. <laughs> So next time, we're just leading with the podcast and going to the Effective Fitness. They're excited. They wanted to go work out with Charlie. They yeah. wanted to work out with Chris, but, you know, he wouldn't show up on a regular basis. So, mm. <laughs> Are you going to be there tomorrow? 
Not possibly. It's a game time decision. Okay. Well, How about you, know. Charlie? Do you have anything decent to drink? I did. I went to North Park Brewery mm. and drank everything they had. Mm. No, I actually had their uh, Burlingame, their Czech Lager, and then I uh, had a couple of tasters of their uh, super high output uh, uh, hazy IPAs, which are all 10% or above. Ooh. They had six 10% alcohol by volume hazy beers wow. on tap. Ooh. So I went ahead and uh, bought some of those beers, and we will review them next week, ladies and germs. So prepare yourself because mm-hmm. it's going to be a knockdown drag out fight next week. That was my that was my only adventure. <laughs> nice pour, Steve. It's nice hoppy IPA. I mean, pills- it is. It's overly hoppy. Uh, that was a uh, couple of great beers. Mm. I'm a big fan of a Nelson uh, Pilsner. I just love that Nelson hop. I know. You're a Nelson junkie. Gosh, we, we spent eight minutes talking about two beers. It's amazing. I have to slow her down here. I'm trying to. Wait, you're snapping them over there. Uh, like just it's... in a hurry, I guess. Okay. Sardine Cowboy, ladies and germs. This is a West Coast Pale Ale at 5.5% from Humble Sea. Mm-hmm. So as Charlie mentioned, uh, I got a West Coast Pale Ale with Chinook, Cascade, Citra, and Admiral Malt. I should taste some uh, flavors of uh, grapefruit pith uh, and orange juice. Aromas of grapefruit and blood orange. Wow. Uh, it should be a crisp, clean, spritzy mouthfeel. Uh, it says rad details. Admiral Gallagher's uh, best pale malt to provide a unique California terroir or ter- terroir. Ter- ter- uh, what is that word? T e r r o i r. Terroir. I uh, get much smell off of this. Uh, with California grown barley, hops with our personal selected Chinook, Cascade, and Citra, uh, meant to be somewhat nostalgic, but provide a fresh take on a classic style: balanced, crispy, and crushable. West Coast Pale Ale, Chinook, Cascade, Citra, and Admiral Malt. Is that kind of um? How's that taste? That's uh, really good. I have no smell. Nothing off of it. Mm-hmm. Probably got... The Admiral Malt, I think, is the cool part. Of it. The Sardine Cowboy. Not bad. Got a kind of a, a freshy taste to it. You know what was a, a great beer they did a few years ago? It was your dad's pale ale. Yeah. <laughs> it was like the Sierra Nevada uh, take yeah. It was uh, so good. Pre-Sierra Nevada, I think. What do you mean, pre Sierra Nevada? That was literally like that was the that was what they tried to replicate on it. No. Yeah, absolutely. If you look at the the malt bill and the the hops, it was the exact same. Really? Why don't you buy just Sierra Nevada then? Well, because you're you're buying well, their attempt to make. I don't it know so. what the question. I, I guess I don't understand. Why didn't I just go buy Sierra Nevada? Yeah. Well, because I wanted to try their attempt at it, and I, I probably should have. For you, what I should have done combined them both. I should have done a blind taste yeah. test. So you could have seen how close they tasted. That would have been perfect. Me, Let's I was do able that. To, to recollect how closely that tasted. To, Your recollection is skewed. I'm gonna the next time that comes out, Charlie. We'll have to. Uh, that sounds great. It was super good. <laughs> Charlie didn't think it tasted anything like Sierra Nevada. Is that what I said? You did. You did. You're like, no, that isn't what they tried to do. I remember. I remember it like it was yesterday. Mm. And that's when I realized. I think it was probably yesterday. <laughs> that was a while ago. That was uh, that was one of my favorite beer tours. I don't remember that. Sierra Nevada? So. Yeah. That's a really cool we, brewery. We took the kids. I had all three little kids, and they all had a good time. And it was like, you still got to drink beer, beer kids? and eat food. And... When you got to the end, did they give you like five tickets instead of just two for no, you? I don't think so. <laughs> like the kids. You know, oh, yeah. That would be great. Why not? Yeah. That was so, fun. I, I remember that when I went to uh, uh, Red Hook mm. up in Seattle. Uh, how was that? It was fantastic. Right. And we had the greatest guide mm-hmm. for that. Yeah, Red our, our, guide, our guide was great, too. Was it male or female? Male. Okay, we had a female, so she uh, was a lot better. Probably To be honest with you. They're more intelligent. And um, so we go through the tour, and we get to the end, and you get, like, two free beers. Mm-hmm. Okay? And then they say, as the crowd cleared out, you know, right. there was probably about four of us, maybe five or six at the most. Right. The guy goes, hey, well, we do have this new hop, or hoppy IPA that we have. 
long hammer. We haven't released it yet, but we would like to know what your opinion is mm. on it. And they're pouring these long hammer IPAs. <laughs> and they were pouring them. They just kept pouring them. Mm -hmm. I mean, because the, the tour takes 40 minutes right. to go through. So the next group isn't going to be there for at least 30. <laughs> I'm serious. We're spending half an hour there drinking beers of these uh, long hammer IPAs. You know, short yeah. pours, yeah. obviously, yeah. but a lot of them. That's awesome. And it, they were fantastic. And I'm like, I like a long hammer. I drink a long hammer now, and I'm like, eh, it's all right. You know. Well, you're getting fresh off the tap. Yeah, but it's not near as good as what so, the tap was or near as good as what the beers people are making now. A lot of these breweries are standing still. Mm -hmm. They are not moving along with the progression of beers that yeah. people are making. I mean, it's, we said this earlier, uh, probably in another show, is that uh, – Russian River. They were making Pliny the Elder forever. Everybody loved it. But guess what? Other breweries have moved on. And these guys were left, you know, with this Pliny. Everybody likes it still, but it's nowhere near as good as Humble Seas, Other Half, Modern Times, North Park. Yep. These guys are making beers that are just so much more progressive than those beers anymore. That those things have been left behind, which is unfortunate but true. And it, you know. I, I think though, if you get like a like a fresh Pliny, is still one of my favorite IPAs. It is good. Like West Coast it IPAs. is it's good. A good beer. It's a unbelievably good beer. But I would rather drink something fresh from North Park right now. Yeah, you're like you don't, but you're not like an IPA fan. Like you're you're a hazy no, I, IPA. I am. Fan. No, I am an IPA fan. Not I'm a, a true progressive IPA fan. I mean, I move along. I mean, I have an IPA on tap. You have a you have a hazy IPA on tap, not a West Coast. The IPA. pale ale is on is is available too, though. Which so one? So you have pseudo Sue. You don't have it on tap. I've though. had that on tap, though. But but yeah, not today. Yeah, but I bumped it up a notch. <laughs> <laughs> I bumped it up a notch. But you know, just you can't you can't say like. Yeah, here's the thing. That I mean that like you talk about progressive beers like that was certainly like that IPA or that West Coast IPA was like certainly a progressive West Coast IPA when like as and far as time. West Coast IPAs and it's time right I I would say you know I probably like Hop Fu which is you know like a like a better medley like I like probably one of the best beers but the, available right but that's now. like a you know I mean I guess I don't know how long ago Pliny first came out but I still think it's a phenomenal beer maybe yeah, it's check the, it out I'm sure it's in the eighties <laughs> <laughs> I don't think it was that long ago it's but it was nineties. They, uh, it's still a dang good beer. I, I do like Pliny more than than the um, younger. younger. Yeah, I like the elder more than the younger. It's just uh, you know, I'm not a big fan of malt. I'm not a big fan I wasn't of impressed with the taste of the younger this year. Didn't like it. No, it was it was good, but it wasn't wasn't as good as I had it the first time I had it mm. down at Tornados. Yeah, maybe their taps are cleaner. I don't know. Mm -hmm. You were yeah, I didn't think you were gonna have it. <laughs> You forced me to. What are you talking about? <laughs> so this was added. Uh, so so Pliny the Elder was added to uh, to Beer Advocate. Um, you know, which before there was Untapped or whatever it was Beer Advocate. Yeah, uh, right. So this was first added August twenty fourth, two thousand three. So that's a twenty year old beer. Yeah. Like you know they've been making that beer for twenty years. It's phenomenal. It like, is. Golly, it's, good. it's great. You can't find another beer twenty years old that I'd still drink today and rave about. Why would like, you though? Well, like Sierra Nevada, like for instance, you know, I mean, that was one of the first, uh, yeah, one of the still first pale that beer ales. And it's no, delicious. Right. I don't know if I would go as far as to say delicious. It's not Pliny the Elder, but it is delicious. So if you look at twenty-year-old beers, right? Like both of those being twenty-year-old beers, which one do you think holds weight today? Like Pliny, does, does but Pliny here's the deal, does, though. They have been sedentary. Yes, they, I, I would agree with that. Like, they haven't done what North Park does, you know, where they come out with seven, you know, or, I mean, every month there's five or six different beers. Ah! But that, I, I'd Today, still say, right now, you can go down there and get six, seven, or eight different beers that are better than Pliny. We might, I... I Sounds like there's a challenge in there. I hope you. so. <laughs> oh God, if you're paying, I'm drinking. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like a challenge. I do. You know, maybe this is the pre-gaming that we did. Yeah. I don't know. 
No, I hey, yeah. they're they're phenomenal beers. I would just say, and I do agree that 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 um the Russian River they they've been more sedentary, right? Like yeah. the, for a no, long, not, long time, like they a didn't. little bit like the Stone thing. I mean, yeah, know, it's only recently they started doing small batch, right? Right. Yes. Yeah. Yes. And, yes. and so it's they, good beer. Yeah, it's great beer. Oh, it's great. They they make good beer. Right. But you know what? They 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 sat on their laurels of Pliny for too long. Mm. People walked away. And went to other breweries. I, I would say it was kind of that that same thing. You know, there's there's a, a couple, there's a brewery in Minnesota, like uh, which forever had like the like the best beer, right? Like uh, Lupulin. Um, I can't even remember the name of it now. Like uh, I, I remember Lupulin. the Lupulin. Lupulin uh, was the name of the brewery, right? But they just made um, like blissful uh, blissful ignorance, and they made they made another beer, but they mm-hmm. they made just a couple of beers that were super super good. Uh, Huey Louie or. Or Huey, I think, was the other the other name of the beer. Both of them phenomenal beers, mm-hmm. but as everybody else was making new beers, or like North Park, you mentioned North Park, where they like um, every Wednesday they release three different beers. These other people just sat on uh, continued mm-hmm. to make the same beer, so that you just get passed by. People yeah. want uh, something new. Mm. Like you know, I don't want to fill my. But I think I think you could do it the single beer like like the the Wyoming beer the. Oh, Montucky? Yeah, yeah. Sure. I mean, that's the only thing they got, right? <laughs> right? I mean, you. right. <laughs> but that's... If it's you know, a lager, you know, yeah, like yeah, kind of but a... I mean, but you can do something like that if that's what you want to do. Sure. Yeah. Oh, I, yeah. You yeah, could I, be I, all in and then just make the best lager, period. Over and right. Over and over again. That's all you make, <laughs> right. Montucky's yeah, I mean, a different story. I mean, you're, you're, you're talking about a one beer and a great one beer. Yeah. And but, it's... That's all they do. Yeah. So, I mean, if that's what you're interested in, yeah, people love that beer. I mean, mm-hmm. across no, I, the country. I agree. Anywhere it's available. And I'm going to tell you right now, you guys don't want any part of this because this is it doesn't suck. smell. This stout is terrible, I'm sure of it. Mm. It only smells of caramel, golden chocolate, and honey <laughs> mm. with marshmallows and cocoa nibs added. Look with at a, that magic. With a, a medley of IPA tasteless. Thank you, Jeff, from <sighs> Bernie Beard for making sure we know how to drink our beers. Yeah, dirty glass. glass. Team dirty glass. Beer for a year. You can do a, uh, that Montucky. They got a thing going on there. You can get beer for a year. What? What? That's right. I don't know. Yeah, free exactly. beer? Free beer. Did they say free or did they, they, make they just They make seltzers, say- Charlie. I thought you said they only made one beer. They make Montucky cold Seltzers. Hard seltzers. Wow. We're all in trouble then. Then they show uh, show a bunch of different jorts on there as well. What are jorts? Uh, jean shorts. <laughs> I don't want to look at that at all. I'm not even going to that website. I'm about to order you a pair. <laughs> I'll wear them, but I'm not going to look at them. <laughs> mm. Gosh. Yeah, there's a bunch of coconut in that. Is it decent? Yeah. It's dangerously decent. So our final beer is uh, Atlas of Dark Seas, which is... Uh, yeah, not bad, huh? The uh, the first bottle of the, uh, I guess, 2022 membership, uh, the first of, of their six bottles. Oh, by the way, I got your bottle from which Morris. Bottle? Did you? Perfect. Yeah. And you're your own... Uh, Proxy that, for the uh, Newtopia. <laughs> so the uh, <laughs> you're the only one that can get it. <laughs> well, I, I yeah, I, I got you. Uh, so the Atlas of Dark Seas is a barrel aged imperial stout conditioned on coconut and vanilla. Uh, it's the Kooks, uh, the first Kooks only blend <laughs> of 2022. It's a love letter to two of our favorite adjuncts, which is coconut, coconut. and vanilla. Coconut. Uh, Atlas sits heavy on the tongue, carrying flavors of baker's mm. chocolate, fresh coconut, and drizzling caramel. Yeah. A soft bitterness follows and it's chased by a hint of bourbon. You guys yep. probably won't like that. Yeah, you're probably going to just balk mm. at every point. The smell, the taste, the loveliness of it all. And you can certainly get, catch notes of uh, that bourbon barrel on there, huh? Yes. The vanilla, I think, smell. The uh, coconut is the most prominent flavor in my mouth. Yeah. <sighs> Man. Oh, Woo! Man, that coconut just comes blasting through there. <laughs> that is a good E. 
Yeah, that's a super, smell the barrel. Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah, you don't really. None left. I don't think no, I, you sorry. really. I guess after tasting it, you can smell like the. You can smell it. You can smell the coconut. Mm-hmm. Jeremy doesn't think, get too many stouts, so he's probably. And, and I'm a stout guy, so. Yeah. No, that's a good beer. That's a super, super tasty beer. I'm super. Uh, a vanilla barrel, buffalo yeah. trace barrel, and another buffalo trace barrel. Moder- or uh, Humble Sea does some great stouts. Vanilla bourbon bear. That sounds awesome. I want to know this brewer. And I love this, this. I love the stout. Buffalo Trace too. It's a good well, so yeah, they um, they changed last year. the 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 um, The person that ran their special projects left and became the head brewer at Santi Adaris, right down the road in, in Capitola. Okay. Um, so Nick took over. Nick, the head brewer, one of the owners, took over as uh, um, he's leading the the special projects. Um, mm. They're taking taking more of a. Is um, this a special project? Yeah, so like their special project, any of their their barrel aged uh, beers or, or or sours, anything that's like not a clean beer. So they're they're doing their sours there. It's that room. Remember where we parked? So they had that that one building that wasn't near the brewery. It was mm-hmm. like kind of a a block and a half away. Yeah, that's like their barrel room. That's where they do all their their so- mixing. This is a Kooks Club member only beer? It is. Wow. It's Kooks Club number, number, uh, bottle number one for 2022. Wow. So the, like, I don't remember last year there being, like, you know, there's six bottles. So did we split that? We did. Yeah, this okay. is your bottle. I was just say this is your <laughs> bottle. No, 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 no. Those cans were mine. The cans that we opened earlier were mine. <laughs> this was your, that was what you brought to the table. So I thank you for that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm good with that. Well, we're uh, drinking your blueberry next week, though. That's a oh, that's perfect. Mm. No, that's a super tasty beer. Wow, it's super good. Mm-hmm. Impressive, only because you bought it and, and it's mine. <laughs> yes. Yeah, Charlie's a big fan of that. You know, we we split this membership, and uh, I know there's always somebody here to because you have to you have to sign for those beers. Because for a while there one was of my, the stouts I did. Right. So they'd been leaving them at my door, and then they stopped leaving them at my door. And they would like, uh, you know, they'd show up, they'd, they'd leave them there, and then the guy would peel out and tear Ruin up my yard. Your, your... And then he, uh, then they stopped, and then all they would do is they'd come over, they'd knock on the door, and then they'd tear up my yard, and then they'd peel out, right? And I'm like, Ugh! so I finally moved them over to here, I moved over here, where we okay. accept beer, yeah, mm-hmm. friendly. And usually somebody's here, so it's it's worked out a lot better. As long as I can keep Charlie and the razor blade away yeah. from opening the beers. They, I like their, they, it looks like they upgraded though. We did a little bit, a little bit. Little the boxes, yeah. There's some boxes in there. The other one, the important one's on the inside. I like you. The other stout of this. No, that's a, that's a phenomenal beer. Mm. Um, I don't remember last year. They did a, I thought they did one stout conditioned on sea salt and uh, caramel. I thought, was it Kooks 1 last year? Oh, it sounds mm. good, though. I like it. We had a database of all the beers we got. Um, I just don't remember if they... Mm. Uh, it smells delicious. Gosh. I thought they... Mm. Man, that gets better with every drink. Mm-hmm. That's a, that's a great beer. up great. That coconut is fantastic. Is it Josh? Doesn't like the coconut, right? Yeah. Yeah, he likes it. Does he? He does. Okay. So last year they did their their Kooks. uh, Last year Kooks one was a blend of uh, stouts, bourbon, uh, bourbon, vanilla, salt barrels, and uh, conditioned on vanilla beans. But they didn't have like the coconut. Uh, And I think that was the best bottle they had last year. Was that that Kooks one? Um, Is that the way it's going to be again? Do you think? I don't know. I know they. You know they. It kind of dropped off because remember. So they they. They did six bottles last year. Uh, number one was the best. Number two was like a wheat wine. Um, yeah, I didn't three like was that. like a uh, a <laughs> saison. Four was like a double stout, which was pretty good. Five was that that wild IPA in mm. the bottle that was like effort. You know, it was like shot <laughs> up in there. Yeah, it was like I still have a bottle of that if you wanna you wanna. <laughs> Um, and then number somebody. six was the barley. Like clean line. your windshield off or something. <laughs> yeah. So I think you know last year it it certainly I think it started off with uh, um, I think number one was my favorite last year. So I hope it goes yes, up they, from here because that's that's pretty legit. Yeah, that's you guys phenomenal. Did a good job. 
Yeah, hopefully they do like three, uh, which I, I would assume, like they'll do three stouts and a couple of, uh, ah, I'd hate to die without trying it. Well, so we, uh, today guys, it was all, all humble sea beers. We, well, for uh, good reason, we had them. <laughs> we did, we had them. They were, uh, um, and they're good, man. They're, yeah. uh, they're certainly one of my favorite beers. I think sure. we're going to go North Park next week. And I would agree with that. Yeah, I would. Uh, um, and beers you can get. I mean, these you can get if you want to order them. Yep. But, you know, it's going to have to be quite quickly See, if you quickly, hear this yeah. on Monday. But uh, next week, a lot of uh, North Park at 10% plus. Yeah, so all of you know, the, the first three beers were all, are all available online mm -hmm. right now. Um, yep. That, that uh, the, uh, what was the first beer that we did? The uh, DDH, the hells. yeah, the hells. I threw it like that there. sells out pretty quickly. Yeah. You know, as far as like the People you know previous renditions have sold out. Mm -hmm. uh, not certain with this one, but they should but the have plenty of, of that though. Instagram. Yeah, I don't know. I haven't looked at their. I haven't looked at the regular website to see what's available. Mm -hmm. I just order off of that, um, uh, off the app or whatever. Whew, um, that's good. Beer. No, that was great, Steve. What did you like as far as? Uh, uh, I'm gonna go with the pills. The Pilsner was yeah, your was yeah, your. Uh, if we just do the first three, yeah, the first three yeah. yeah, we'll just uh, rate the first three. I mean, I think uh, the the stout kind of speaks for itself, but the first three were, uh, I think, in line. I can't speak to the first three. The the Atlas of Dark Seas just got me. That was good uh, choice. <laughs> I, I, yeah, I think I'm going. I'm going the Santa Cruz Pilsner as well. I just really like how hoppy that was. You know how it was kind of a. a you know, five and a half percent, but it drank really, really light. A lot of hops. The way the way I like it. The the sardine cowboy. I'm a huge fan of that West Coast I or West Coast pale, but this one didn't hit it out of the park like uh, like I'd expected. You know, I mean, I think the 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 DDH is it is what it is, right? Yeah. Like it's a phenomenal beer, right? But that uh, that Santa Cruz Pills, I think uh, the flavor profile is a little bit a little bit hoppier. Hit me what I was looking for. I'm gonna jump on the stout. Yeah. First. And then the heels, hells, heels. I heard you. Yeah, and then those other two. You could intermix them. Yeah, <laughs> both of them drinkable, but yeah, you'd, uh, that, you would go the yeah, I would go yeah. the hells. That, the hells is good. I mean, right? No, it was yeah, phenomenal. Yeah. If we're, we're going like, to if we're going to talk about Oktoberfest beers, we've I mean, crushed stout right. in a while though. <laughs> that would be a good. One. Right? How long has it been since we done stout? It's been at least a week. <laughs> I was going to hope, you know. <laughs> But this is better than the last week, I think. Mm -hmm. I think every one of these beers was phenomenal. I, I mean, I would certainly like. You know, I'm breaking it up into two groups. Like the, you know, the stout is is my favorite. You know what beer. I'm gonna do? I'm gonna but, go down to North Park and get one of their stouts, and then we're gonna do the. I got one for us. I got have? the their their most recent like Moxa and North Park okay, release. We'll do that. Next we'll week. do that. Yeah. yeah. And then we'll we'll have those uh, the IPAs that. It's going to be a bang or reeking because they're all like 10%. Oh, hmm. oh. We're we're get some bird to bow here. We're going to allow you to sip it or smell it. Perfect. Yeah. I like it. So there it is. Another week. One of our uh, favorite breweries, guys. We got mm -hmm. that uh, Humble Sea. Oh, they're so good. Yeah. Another week of me and Charlie disagreeing on what beer is better. <laughs> this is unusual because we drink them all, so I don't know. <laughs> That stout is no. That's delish. a tasty beer, Charlie. We're gonna go drink yours next. Okay, thank you. Till next week, gents. Cheers. Well, we drank ours. Cheers. Cheers. We hope you have enjoyed today's show. If you would like to subscribe to this show via your favorite podcast player application, then head over to the podcraft.com website and look for the subscribe links. You can also get all the links mentioned in this podcast, pictures and videos of all the beers we try, and other good information at thepodcraft.com. The site also has links to send us direct feedback and to connect with us on social media. Thank you so much for sharing your time and attention with us. For Chris and Charlie, this is Tech Guy Steve, signing off for this week's The Podcraft Beer Show. Have a super awesome rest of your day. Podcraft Beer Show podcast is licensed under Creative Commons Attribution Share Alike 4.0 International. All rights reserved 2020 through 2022. The podcast is produced by Aztecmedia.net. 
If you have questions, then please email the podcraft podcast at gmail.com. Fair use notice. Reference material and media have been placed within this medium for informational, educational, and discussion purposes only in compliance with the fair use criteria established in Section 107 of the Copyright Act of 1976. It should also be noted that the opinions expressed in this podcast are those of the participants and are not endorsed by the participants' previous, current, or future employers or advertisers. You're still here? It's over. Go home. Go.